we laugh. How hard is it for a woman to be to attract a guy? Sweet, thin, nice, sex at any time. Don't nag, don't argue. That's they a winner. It. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, not enough men like lead. I think when your relationship, you got to set the rules, let the girl know what you will and won't tolerate. It, people just put up with bullshit, you know? Mm -hmm. And like girls, they hate weak men. They'll test you. Yes. If they like you, they'll start testing you. They'll and, even test strongly. Yeah, no, back when I used to, yeah. Well, yeah, no, they'll test me too. You just say no, 100% <laughs> right. I get tested. I've never yeah. had a girl not test yeah. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But back when I used to sleep around, you know, I always like to figure out uh, female psychology. Sometimes I'd find out a girl has a boyfriend. I would mm -hmm. always ask, okay, why are you cheating? You'd and, ask okay. her, wait, yeah. before or after the sex? Oh, after, after, after. Good after boy. Good My boy. Yeah. 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 Well, what, what was the reason? Uh, so then I get the this, answer. This is when I really started waking up. I okay. expected to hear like he's an asshole. It hits me every he's single time. Nice. It was because he's too nice. Too nice. There you wow. go. You got it. And he's weak. He does what I Beautiful. tell him. Yeah. Someone say I'd even test him. I'll ask him to do ridiculous things, and he does it. So now we need a guy that I can't can't boss around. So, yeah. so I think this is the matrix I really try to use with people when I try to help mm. them. Men, we get validation through sex, sex or compliance that leads to sex. Women get their validation from attention, but attention that eventually leads to resources. Our resources are time or money or whatever. As men, when we give our attention to women for nothing, our attention is valueless. I'm leaving heart eyed emojis. I'm paying for her only f in those cases. <laughs> When I'm doing those things, I'm giving her attention. And not only does she not have any value for me, she actually starts to resent me. You'll see that yep, men exactly. who give women money on a re repeated basis, I, I talk to them all the time, and they make fun of these guys to me constantly. Yeah. Women will make fun of their They're sugar evil. daddies to me constantly. Yeah, on, for women, what, for so when a man gives his attention for nothing, he loses value. When a woman gives her sex for nothing, she loses value. And She's so, supposed to, but. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, supposed, supposed to, nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In order for her to do that. So what men are doing now is they're confusing compliance and attention. They're receiving attention from women and they think it's compliance and they're responding with attention. For us as men to give sex costs us nothing. Sex mm -hmm. is fun for us to mm -hmm. give and we don't lose value to give it. Mm -hmm. So for women to give attention is also cost them nothing. Mm. Their attention is worthless. As a man, if, if I meet a woman and she's really attractive, I'm never going to compliment her because of her physical attractiveness. She's always going to do something. If I saw a woman and she was posting a picture, she's like, I just paid off my house. I would like that photo. I was like, congratulations, you paid off a house. Congratulations. I saw a woman and she finished her master's degree. I'd be like, Congra I would like that photo. We have them I, on here. Yeah, do I have <laughs> never liked a photo with a girl wh where she was in a bikini. Never. Yeah. Because what am I doing? I'm giving my attention, losing my value in exchange for no compliance. I'm getting attention from her and her attention is worthless. If you just have guys go on that idea, like basically compliance is below the belly button and attention is above the belly button, then it's just much easier for them to make mistakes. She sent me news. That was with her thumbs. That's above the belly button. That's attention. <laughs> she, came to my, she came to my house and made me dinner. That means she had to move her ass. That's compliance. I'll give her, I'll reinforce <laughs> compliance. I will not reinforce or validate and attention. And it's amazing how you have to kind of explain it to guys like that, but it's, it's important because so many guys are ill-equipped to deal with women and understand these things and going back to i hate to bring it back to the tricon thing but they don't army with this shit. Yeah. the yeah. bible is not going to teach you the no. difference between attention and and compliance at all mm. and the thing that kills me is that if you don't know this stuff you're going to get destroyed and here's my thing and this is really this defeats the tricon in two seconds basically i say this i tell guys to have these things in place make their money get in shape have a prerequisite experience with women you know I say 50 girls, but if you get 30 and you feel like you're good, whatever, <laughs> 20, whatever. My point is this. I want you to be in a position where a majority of women are A, going to respect you, and B, you'll be able to gain some compliance. And then C, I want you to go in to this relationship and this marriage that you might pursue with your eyes wide open. In no way am I telling guys, fuck 50 girls and stay a player for the rest of your life. No. I'm giving you the tool set so that you can choose. Choose for yourself. If you want to be married Myron's, and have a family. Myron's 50 girls is my vasectomy. Yeah. I just girls, I love it. Because uh, here's the thing. This is what kills me. A mm -hmm. bunch of you motherfuckers watching this podcast right now need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, do you live the lifestyle you live right now because you chose to or uh, because you had to? Uh, and uh, most of you motherfuckers watching the show right now are living a lifestyle because you had to maybe you had pressure from your parents marry that girl or maybe you had, oh, maybe you were broken you couldn't get anything besides that fat becky that you're with right now she chose home, for you or she chose for you you better put a ring on it or i'm leaving you <laughs> and that's the reality for most men and a lot of you guys i'm talking to you motherfuckers right now you guys did not choose where you're at you're where you're at because you were forced to be there mm -hmm. i'm giving guys the fucking tool set so they can choose to do what the fuck they want to do you train for mma yeah professional fighter mm -hmm. if you know you got a fight coming up in six months you're training hardest i'm not just gonna walk in there right? without training <laughs> guys right when you get into a marriage with a girl that's a 
fucking fight for your life. Oh, 100%. Because you can lose half your money. That's you can lose your children. Big you can L. have to pay alimony. It, the stakes are crazy high. Let it's me, a pay-per-view fight, mother. That's literally pay-per-view for there you if you lose. There's literally nothing where stakes so, are higher and you know less. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. So my thing is, if you're going to go, if professional fighters go into a fight and train like their life depends yep. on it for a fight, you're telling me you're not going to train for the fight of your life with the woman that you're going to be with? Because it is a fight. A relationship is adversarial. Like we said, it's a battle between the two genders to see who can have the leverage. And if the man doesn't have the leverage, it loses every single time. And a lot of you motherfuckers watching the show right now that found this content, you've found out that you no longer have leverage. That's why you're here. So I'm giving you guys a tool set to get that leverage back. You got to make the choice of what you want to do. I'm not telling you to go out there and fuck a bunch of bitches, But what I am telling you is it might require you to fuck a bunch of bitches so that you can make the choice that you don't want to do it anymore. Mm. Yeah, so the, the girl also has to know there's a chance that you'll leave her if she's misbehaving. If she's giving right. you attitude and she knows there's no she chance that. you're going to leave her, she can just keep going. She can go cheat on you. She can run around. She can go get blacked with out. A guy like, cheat on a guy with a, with a yeah. guy well, like you. Exactly. But if hold he's on. not going to do anything, why wouldn't she? Religion, what does it do? Do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Stick it out. She's treating you badly. Doesn't respect you. You know what? Be a good person. Stick it out. My thing is, to your question for solution, why not have both? Have the wisdom of understanding the world that you live in right now, mm -hmm. how women operate, how men operate, and choose for yourself what you want to do. Then add to that what your belief system is, which is maybe Christianity or Islam, whatever that may be, and have the foundation so you have both in tandem working together. Versus just having one is like, all right, be a good boy, do this. Right. But you don't understand what's happening on this side because you don't understand the real world. Use red pill awareness mm -hmm. and religion to put yourself in the best position, man. And then like, choose for yourself. Wow, okay, guys, wow Jay, it's pill? almost like we're trying to equip you and educate you with the red pill. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who said that before. Too. I want to say this too, because a lot of guys, let's be honest, a lot of guys hate the term red pill. Cool, you don't have to use it. Yeah. yeah. For us, when yeah. we're using it for the purposes of this podcast, truth. it's just the truth, man. Yeah. Well, That's all we're saying. This is, what you're all talking about is, I had an interesting Twitter exchange that kind of opened my eyes where I, I said something like, this is why you don't get married for statistical reasons. And this guy was a Tradcon pill and da da da. And he says, you know, uh, what, and I don't want to misquote him, but I said, marriage should not be confrontational. It shouldn't be a fight. It shouldn't take effort. It should be easy and effortless. And he came in, you obviously don't understand how marriage works and da da da, you know, and this, and you'll find faith and support through God. And I'm, no, no, no. I'm not arguing. Think of this concept for to give to the traditional conservative uh, type of guys out there who want to try going. How about a marriage where there isn't any arguing because you lead and she knows to follow. How about you're a hardworking man, you establish the family, you establish the household, you provide for the family, nobody gives you guff, and not only does your you wife not question. You well, gotta have the pimp uh, hand. You gotta have the pimp hand. The pimp hand can never be yeah. dispensed with. No, no, I, I, <laughs> it must be there. I, I, I get the, I get we the pimp hand. We are going to jail. I, all, all I want to do is introduce the concept of a happy marriage. In one of my books, I talk about the percentage of marriages that end up being happy. You know what percentage of mar ha marriages end up being happy? For who? The the male or the female? Well, I guess it can would they be, be happy both. at the same time? <laughs> is that possible? Well, no, okay, but generally, and I, I'm, it's till how many marriages make it till death do them part or I'm one death makes them part it's 14 percent. so but you way got, higher than i expected though i yes, must concede yeah it, but yeah. that's just till death do them. they could have been at each other's throats sure. the entire uh, time sure right? yeah. okay right. most mm -hmm. marriages are miserable james sexton would back that up at True. a million se at half a second all right i am trying to as is everybody at this table trying to give traditional people the concept and the tools and the idea that if you follow these rules if you're empirical about women's behavior you're going to drastically increase your chances of having a happy marriage. Nothing sounds worse to me than being in an unhappy marriage till death did somebody part. And if you, if the, the, the idea that marriage should be hard and it's a struggle and you need Christ and through Christ, religion, blah, blah, blah. no, I got a great secular idea. How about she loves you, does what you yeah. fuck say because she loves you mm -hmm. you have to also be a good man you can't be some drug addict you gotta be a provider 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 yeah. yep. we gotta put a burden of performance on a mental you gotta be a provider yep. you gotta deliver for your family deliver for your wife holy shit, the idea of how about you just are nice and sweet and stay you know we, we laugh how hard is it for a woman to be uh, to attract a guy sweet thin nice sex at any time don't nag don't argue that's they a winner it, 